Last weekend was like being in the eye of the hurricane. Today, after a peaceful march broke up, a war broke out again. On the streets of densely populated eastern Kowloon, Hong Kong's period of calm is over. Protesters hurling shards of concrete and poles and Molotov cocktails at riot police and tear gas canisters clattering down. Clouds of it hung in the humid afternoon air for hours. If China had hoped these protests would just fizzle out, its ruling Communist Party's got another thing coming. All this now playing out on TV screens from Beijing to Biarritz. So, this is a bit of an embarrassing beginning to the G7 summit with all those world leaders watching and Xi Jinping might no doubt in China watching too. A standoff with a special tactical unit outside a Hong Kong shopping mall. Okay, come this Protesters who'd retreated into the mall rained their fury on the police down below. This time, a cluster unit releasing five separate tear gas munitions detonated over a police too slow to get masks on. A local resident single-handedly confronted the police. I live here, he yelled. He mocked the cops. You're not as tough as you think you are, he said. Other local spectators crowded onto a balcony armed with smartphones. A man who tried to stop the protesters from throwing stuff is hauled off. He tries to reason with the police and urges them to pull back. I would later bump into him. His name's Lai Kim Tak. He's a construction worker. Eventually, the situation calmed as the protesters vaporized like water. It's obviously pretty exhausting being a Hong Kong cop in this long, long, hot summer. Trust in these men is wearing thin now. To protesters, they are defending the indefensible and now represent the iron fist of authoritarian China. If this last stronghold of open society would lose grip to the dictatorship in Beijing, this represents a fall of modern civilization. This is a, the last stronghold. Hong Kong people are standing up for the liberty and democracy. Nearby, Mr. Lai was taking a rest. He told me how he puts himself in harm's way to stop violence. I asked him, though, whether he supported the young people. Of course, he said. This is happening 20 years too late. Down the road, the riot police were regrouping under the direct command of two senior Hong Kong policemen, both British, accused by protesters of doing Beijing's dirty work. Are you able to tell me what's going on? What uh, you'll doing? be seeing it in a minute, sir. What? This is Chief Inspector David Jordan, a former Royal Naval officer. He speaks Cantonese. And this is Superintendent Justin Shave. They're two of the most prominent Brits among 50 expats in the 32,000 strong force and have been targeted in vitriolic cyber attacks for their roles here. Running battles continued long into the night. What will Beijing do? Its party leaders say this cannot go on, but it does and there'll likely be more tomorrow. Jonathan Miller reporting there, and a British consulate worker from Hong Kong who was detained in China for more than two weeks has been released. The Foreign Office said it was delighted that Simon Cheng had been freed and would be reunited with his family. Mr Cheng was detained after making a business trip by train across the border in Shenzhen, where officials claimed he had confessed to illegal acts without giving any further details.